Passport to the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. Welcome to Passport to the Palm Beaches, where we dream, discover, and explore. We'll give you an insider's look at everything the stunning Palm Beaches has to offer. America's first resort destination is adorned with miles and miles of gorgeous tropical white sandy beaches, world-class golf, tennis, museums, extraordinary people, spectacular restaurants, renowned fishing and diving, luxury real estate, shopping, countless outdoor activities, and an unexpected wild side. It is the ultimate playground, retreat, and adventure all in one. Simply put, the Palm Beaches is the perfect escape. Don't settle for the ordinary. The Palm Beaches, it's like no other place in the world. There's no better place for international luxury than right here in the Palm Beaches, the ultimate destination for international luxury. We've got a fantastic episode for you today. We're going to be featuring some luxury real estate from barns to beaches. We're also going to meet a red carpet jeweler and visit an auto show that features the best in international vehicles. So stay right where you are. You won't want to miss a minute. Passport to the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. As you know, this episode is all about the international destination for luxury. And this is one of my favorite segments when we look at luxury real estate, one of my favorite things. So I've got two amazing real estate agents with me right here. Rob and Horst. Horst, you may remember from last season, he is of course a very lucky man because he's married to me. That's right. <laughs> so <laughs> remind the people, why did you come to the Palm Beaches? Like what's so spectacular here? You know, 25 years ago, I came over here for a business dealing actually in real estate. I did real estate in Germany already too. But I fell in love with Palm Beach, Palm Beach County. Everything you can imagine is here. You can water ski, you can boat, you can fish, you can golf. It's just a beautiful place to live. Palm Beach truly is the ultimate destination for international luxury. Now, Rob, tell us, what brought you here? What do you love about the Palm uh, Beaches? What's not to love? I mean, you get 365 days of sun, great weather, and you know, being an avid golfer, I get to golf all year round. So it's truly beautiful. But again, you have the barns, you have the beaches, you have a little bit of everything. Not only are you a fantastic real estate agent, you're also really involved with the community. I am. You know, I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be involved with the LGBTQ community. And um, I belong to an association called the National Association of Gay and Lesbian Real Estate Professionals. So I do have, I get other uh, clients that predominantly would like to work with someone that is involved in the community. And I get to help them. So I get to help them find homes in Palm Beach County. Speaking of homes in Palm Beach County, if anybody's looking for one, please contact Robin Horst over here. But first, right now, Rob, are you gonna give us a tour of this spectacular beach house? This I, is pretty amazing. I can't wait. It truly is a gem. All right, let's take a look. So excited. I love the 3550. This is a beautiful new building. In fact, I think it's one of the only new builds in Palm Beach in many, many years. Yeah, actually in two decades, the newest build um, on the ocean. So we have 30 units that are in this building and it, it really is luxurious. You have valet service, 24 hour concierge, you have the spa, you have the pool. And the cool feature is you have a tandem double stack uh, parking. So you have two cars in one parking spot on a lift, so it's really, really cool. That is, and it's also amazing that you get access to the O Resort and Spa, which is right down the street. I mean, you can walk there, and they have an incredible spa yeah. and restaurants, and of course, grocery stores, and the airport. It's only about 15 minutes away. All right, now we know a little bit about the 3550. Tell me about this gorgeous unit. This unit is exquisite, it truly is. It's roughly 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Spacious, really spacious. And the beautiful part is you're right on the ocean. 
This unit has top of the line bells and whistles to the highest appliances, to the highest detail and touch throughout. So oh yeah, nice. marble, oak floors, this place is gorgeous. But oak floors, they're not just oak floors, they're actually Austrian oak floors. They're white, beautiful floors. Even better. Yeah, it's really nice. Now we've seen the beach, it's time to head out west to the barns. Here once again with Rob and Horse, the ultimate luxury real estate brokers from barns to beaches. Well, we hit the beaches already, now we are at the barn. A lot of people don't know how many fantastic equestrian facilities and events we have here in South Florida. Tell us a little bit about Wellington, where we are now. Uh, Wellington is actually population close to 70,000 uh, people. We are right now on a farm, it's 6.1 acres, conveniently for sale for $8.9 million. But the important part is, this farm is actually only a mile away from the longest running horse show in the world. You have a horse show here from January to end of April, it's roughly 40 weeks, and filled with events, horse jumping, hunting, racing, and polo. Polo is a very big part here of the community. You have the Piaget Cup here, best polo players fighting for the crown here. So Wellington, definitely worth to visit and a great place to live. Great, tell me a little bit more about the farm. This featured property is a six plus acre equestrian farm and it can house up to 30 horses. You have actually Olympic sized facilities here to train your horses in multiple disciplines. There's a fun fact about this property, they have the first 3D printed building in Florida. You're tuned into Passport to the Palm Beaches. We're out here in Wellington in front of the very first 3D printed building in the state of Florida. I'm here with Jim Ritter from Printed Farms. This is pretty amazing. It's fun. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the process. How do you print a building? Well, it starts like any standard building with site work and everything, and then we come in and we print the form for the slab. We pour the slab with the machine. We print the walls and then we pour the beams, then we print up again and pour the roof. Incredible. So how large of a building can you print with your 3D printer? About 1,800 square feet. Amazing. So how large is this printer? 40 by 50. Tell me, what is the dream? What, what do you really want to do with the 3D printer? What's your next project? Well, we're going to build a horse farm like what we're standing on this summer and we're also going to do a luxury home in Lake Worth two-story luxury home and it's gonna supplant um, block 3d printing and also because trades are dying and going out with the baby boomers this system will be better buildings more sustainable buildings these are concrete buildings that absorb carbon they're almost flood resistant hurricane resistant they're sustainable buildings that won't be damaged by climate change we're about 20% more than block systems, but we take out the sheetrock in the inside. It's a superior building for the changes in our environment and everything else that's happening in America. If you're going to build buildings, they have to be more sustainable to withstand climate pressures and that, and the changes of how people work in them and everything else. You can't be knocking down buildings every 20 years like we have been doing. These buildings will last 50, 100, 200 years. There you go, another fabulous first right here in the Palm Beaches. Stick around for more Passport. Passport to the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. Thanks for watching Passport to the Palm Beaches. I'm your host, Jack Woolen Journey, and I have a very special treat for you today. Next time you're in Palm Beach on Worth Avenue, you cannot miss Patricia Robolino, an extremely talented, beautiful jewelry designer. She's gonna show us all the goods. You're tuned into Passport to the Palm Beaches. I'm Jack Woolen Journey, here with the extremely talented and gorgeous Patrizia Rovolino, how are you? Hi, Jackie, thank you so much. So you have to give me a little bit of history. How did you get into jewelry design? Oh, how do I get into jewelry design? Let me tell you how everything started. Everything started when I was four years old. 
Uh, I'm third generation jewelers and I used to be in my mother's and my grandparents' jewelry stores. I completely disregard playing with my dolls, what it was the normal thing to do, but no, I didn't like that. I love it. I just love, you know, to, to play with stones, with the shapes of the stones and colors since I was four years old. Now, your designs have been seen on red carpets all over the world, seen on many socialites and celebrities, and what has been for you sort of the pinnacle so far? Mm -hmm. What was the most exciting moment? You know what? It have been so many, so many exciting moments because as a designer, and I'm sure that whoever that designs things, you know, can relate with what I'm going to tell you. Like, even when you, you know, when you see your creation, in the moment, you know, that you have the piece in your hands, that for me is like so excited, you know, it's like an incredible moment, it's like a rush, you know, it's unbelievable. And at the same time, when you see people, you know, so happy wearing your pieces, it's like so many beautiful moments that I could not tell you this is the best one. All of them have been just wonderful. Where do you get your inspiration for your different collections? I love to design, you know, like I love to inspire in, by nature. I love nature. I love to travel. I really inspire a lot when I'm traveling. Well, I'm very excited to be wearing Patricia right Ooh. now. <laughs> As you see, we have some gorgeous jewels. Tell us a little bit about this bracelet to start. Okay, this bracelet is, uh, they are all blue sapphires and baguette diamonds. And what I want to do, it's like not just to have like a regular sapphire bracelet, you know, no. I wanted to create some kind of texture. Mm -hmm. That's why I put the baguette diamonds, you know, between the blue sapphires, as you mm -hmm. can see it. It almost reminds me of branches or coral, mm -hmm. something yes. very, uh, very much from nature, as yes. you mentioned. Yes. Tell us a little bit about this ring and the collection that it comes from. I believe it goes with your beautiful necklace. Exactly. This is part of the same collection, your mm -hmm. ring and my necklace. And as we were talking before, I love nature. I love to create, a, mm -hmm. you know, a pieces with animals, flowers. And this collection is about flowers. All diamonds. In the case of this ring, it has pavé diamonds and big diamonds in the center of the flowers. Mm -hmm. And it's an, a spectacular piece, of course. Oh, they're fabulous, absolutely. So for anyone who's specifically interested in the jewelry business mm -hmm. and say they want to become a designer, what would be your best piece of advice? My best piece of advice, it would be like, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, go to study gemology, go to study jewelry design to feel knowledgeable. And definitely, I think that you have to be so passionate for this because it is a hard work. It's not easy. It's not so pretty as, you know, you will see because, yes, it's beautiful to work with these pieces, but require a lot of work, mm -hmm. require a lot of time mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of persistence. Mm -hmm. All right, well, now that we've seen this, I would love to see some emeralds. Something tells me you have a few of those. Yes, I do. <laughs> So emeralds are some of the rarest stones and mm -hmm. the most difficult to source. Mm -hmm. Tell us about working with them. With emeralds. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? Working with emeralds, um, it's very hard because it's a very delicate stone. Mm -hmm. Extremely delicate. That's why you have to be so careful, you know, when you are designing them because it can be broke so easy. But it's a beautiful stone, it's a beautiful color to work with, and people love it too. Thank you again, Patricia. Stick around. More Passport to the Palm Beaches on the way. Passport to the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. Great weather, fabulous music, and an exceptional event. You must be in the Palm Beaches. I'm Jacqueline Journey. We are here at Wheels Across the Pond. Passport to the Palm Beaches.
The Palm Beaches are great. Everything is great around here. I love it. I moved from Chicago for this. <laughs> I don't regret it at all. Close our minds. It's another gorgeous day in the Palm Beaches. I'm your host Jacqueline, journey for Passport to the Palm Beaches, here with Sydney Valen. So exciting to see you again. This is a really cool event, wheels across the pond, exclusively British and European automobiles and yes. motorcycles, and you are now one of the owners. Correct. This is incredible, so tell us a little bit about the event. So basically last year when I sat down with Neil Archer, we were talking about the event and the future and the growth of the event. So I came in as a 50% owner for the event. So this year, uh, this is my first time as an owner of Wheels Across the Pond. Next year, basically we're passing the torch and I'll be taking over the entire event. So this is gonna be exciting. Neil has been doing this since 2007 and he said it's time now to really move on. And so he knows that I'm involved and I'm the founder of the Palm Beach Concours. He saw what we're doing and here was just a great crowd. Usually we have about 250 to about 300 cars. So I called everybody and I was like, okay, let's just do it. I'm gonna be involved now, this is exciting. And uh, we have over 500 cars here on the field today. So the weather is beautiful. So this is really amazing. And we had for the first time the Easter Bunny. So about 40 kids, this was amazing. And you should see the smile on the children. So we did one to five and five to nine. We had the golden eggs in some areas that have money in there. So kids were like, what? But this is amazing. I mean, look at the cars here. We have 50 classes. I mean, that's a lot of classes, 50 classes. All the way around the field, we have obviously the Jaguars. Some of them are uh, pre-1960, post-1960, the moderns. We have Porsche 911s. We have also the early classic Porsche. We have over there the Rolls Royce. One of my favorite ones is the 1925 Rolls Royce Piccadilly owner is Guy Lewis. So amazing, he supports all the event. He came all the way from Miami to bring the car. This is amazing. We have the Royce Royce Owners Club over there set up. You can see the tent over there. We have an amazing Ferrari that I did not expect actually that is over there, which is cool with the European class. We have the BMW class, the VW here, Metropolitan over there. On the other side, which is very big for the show is all the Triumphs. Different years, different models. We have the MG, MGBs, MGTC. We have the Morgans as well. So there's a lot going on over there. And right behind here, we have all the Land Rovers. Normally we have about four or five. I think today we have about 16 or 18 Land Rovers or Defenders, whatever. We have them all here for the first time. We set them up up at the hill. It's really cool, it's amazing. It really is, and it's so great for the entire family. Tons of kids love to come, especially for the Easter egg hunt. Also to check out the cars, and people are bringing their dogs. Yes. It's really a wonderful family event. Yes, it is, it is. So we're looking forward to next year, and uh, this is gonna be cool. And again, it's been going on since 2007. Let's just keep it up. Let's just have a good time. It's a passion, and it's fun. Absolutely, it's so much fun. And if you can't make it here for Easter weekend, because it's always the Saturday before Easter, Correct. if you're making your travel plans, you definitely want to come out and check out this event. No, it's, it's amazing. A lot of people remember growing up and seeing some cars here today. I mean, I had the gentleman is uh, about 80, I, I would say 80. And he goes, oh my God, I remember going to college with that specific car. I mean, the color, the year, the make, is like, oh my God, I wish I could buy it and, and get it. So people remember as they walk around, uh, it's their childhood, you know? So this is also a great event because it's benefiting the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, you know, for the animals and they're set up over there. This is really amazing. They've been supporting us since 2007. All right, if you're interested to check out this event, it's Wheels Across the Pond right here in Jupiter. We're here at Carlin Park. Sydney, thank you so much. Thank this you. It's an amazing event. Best of luck. I can't thank wait you. to come back next year. Oh, great. We'd well, love to have you again and then, you know, plus everything else we're doing. And Absolutely. Secret Engine Palm Beach next time that around. That I'm doing. Let's 100%, have fun. 100%. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Behind me, I've got a 1925 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. It's a Piccadilly, which was the body style, two-door convertible with a rumble seat in the back. Now, unusual for Rolls-Royce, it was built in the United States up in Springfield, Massachusetts, where Rolls had put a factory from the, about the mid-20s until 31 or so, until the stock market had busted. And so this was one of 79 Piccadilly left-hand drive Rolls Royces. Very rare car, 
and uh, restored fully. What a turnout. I mean, it's like one car is better than the other and the weather and Sydney and his crew have done a great job organizing it. Uh, just terrific, terrific day. Uh, I love Palm Beach. Thanks for watching Passport to the Palm Beaches. I've been your host, Jacqueline Journey. This has been an amazing episode. Make sure and tune in again next week for more. And if you've missed any of our episodes, go to the palmbeachestv.com. In the meantime, as a thank you, check out jackjourney.com, jaqjourney.com for my youth potion number nine and use that discount code for an extra 25% off. We'll see you again next time for more Passport to the Palm Beaches.